Hello everyone, welcome back to my next tutorial in Siemens NX. In this tutorial, we are going to model this machine component using Siemens NX. While modeling this component or any component, always start with the material addition features first, then go for the material removal features. While modeling this component, first I will model this base plate with the total length of 100 and width of 70 with the thickness of 20. Then I will create this feature with a rectangle of 20 mm height and 70 mm length and extrude up to the length of 30. After modeling this, I will start removing the material. First I will remove material here, then I will remove material here, then I will remove material here. After modeling this component in Siemens NX, the component will look like this. This is the part we have created in Siemens NX. So these are the steps we have used to create this model. In this tutorial, we will learn step how to model this component step by step. First, go to the file, new. Here, we have to choose model. Our units are in mm. Make sure you are chosen millimeter. Provide a name. Specify the location. My location is here. Just say OK. Now we have created a new part modeling. For easy modeling of component, I'm just keeping this sketch in the left side and uh, software in the right side. From that we can easily see the dimensions and we can model it. First go to the sketch. This one first I am going to model it. For that I am going to take a top plane sketch. Then go to take a rectangle. I just taken a rectangle. Press the roller to confirm. The height is 100 and width is 70. Just click here. Left click, you will get the dimension. Just modify the dimension by double clicking that. The height is 100. Say no. Do you want to scale the entire sketch? No. And width, press the roller to confirm. Then select the width of this line. It has 70. Press enter. Press the roller to confirm. Here you can see sketch is partially defined with the four movable curves. Now what we want to do? Just make it symmetric to the axis. Select this symmetric one. Select this point this point make these two axis just apply again redo it then select this point just redo select this point select this point select this axis just ok now here you can see sketch is fully defined then under the black color line also indicates that the sketch is fully defined just finish sketch go to extrude here we just make it a symmetric value. The total extrusion height is 20. Just enter the value 20 and press enter and just say OK. Now just hide this sketch. Now we have created this plate. Then we just want to create this feature. For that just rotate it. Go to the sketch. Select the surface. Make sure the right red color arrow that is x axis in the right side just say ok then only the view will come in the same position now here make sure you are in the entire assembly take the rectangle this way only will get the points or just right click here put the select the point from here Point on the curve, sketch vertical axis, no. Point on the curve, edge of the extrude. Start point and edge of the extrude. After giving this, here you will not get this point. Just click it somewhere here. Press the roller to confirm. Again press the roller to confirm. This red color indicate this block line indicates that the two points are defined. And fixed. Now just select this one. This height is here already we have given 20 mm. 
here it is 20 m just enter 20 press the roller to confirm and go to the free sketch extrude just change the direction the total extrusion length is 10 plus 20 that means 30 30 just say ok now we have created this feature also now we will start removing the features first this cut will do for that go to the sketch again select this surface this one you just take this wherever you want to keep you can keep it I am just keeping here just say ok now make sure you are in the entire assembly just put the simple rectangle press the roller to confirm now start receiving the dimensions this side is 40 press enter just say no press the roller to confirm then this side is 10 press enter press the roller to confirm now we need to specify the dimension from here to here here the total length is 70, 40 is gone, remaining is 30, 15, 15. So select this line, select this line, you will get the dimension, this one is 15. Press the roller to confirm. Here you can sketch, sketch is fully defined, finish the sketch, extrude, change the direction, make it to until next, say ok. Then then we will remove this cut for that go to the sketch again select the surface just say ok now similarly just take the rectangle put the rectangle here press the roller to confirm now we need to specify the dimension this height is 30 press enter and uh, from here to here it is 20 from here to here it is 20 press the roller to confirm and this height has to be specified that is 20 20 press enter press the roller to confirm now we have defined completely the sketch here you can see sketch is fully defined finish the sketch extrude change the direction total height to be removed is 15 just specify the value of 15 just say ok just hide the sketch then finally we just want to remove the cut here for that select go to the sketch again select the surface just say ok now we will specify the uh, sketch here we are in the entire sketch S start defining this first rectangle press the roller to confirm then specify the dimension this is 25 press enter say no press the roller to confirm select it here this one is 30 press enter press the roller to confirm this is 25 the total length is 70 so 70 minus 25 is Forty-five. So go to the dimension again. So just already click this one and click this one. This dimension is be specified. Forty-five divided by two. Twenty-two point five. Say no. Press the roller to confirm. Now we have defined the sketch. Then we'll go for this sketch. Just take the continuous line. Just click it here, this point, just click it here, select from the list, point on the curve on the horizontal, no, point, start point on the edge extrusion, then click this here and close the sketch, press the roller to confirm, again press the roller to confirm, now define the dimension, just click this one. This one is 50, press the roller to confirm and this distance 
this distance they are not given instead we need to mirror this object just select the sketch go to mirror center line we need to define we don't have any center lines orient to the sketch view first first put the center line just take a line from here to here somewhere press the roller to confirm press the dimension somewhere 105 press the roller to confirm right click make it construction now select this sketch go to the mirror select the center line you will get the mirror just say ok now we need to specify the distance of 40 so this point to this point the dimension is 40 press the roller to confirm now here you can see sketch is fully defined finish the sketch extrude just change the direction until next subtract just save it just hide the sketch now we have finished the model orient isometric view now we have completely modeled it to change the appearance of this model just go to the display edit object display select this object just say ok here you can change the color by using a color any color just provide just select the color just say ok just apply now the color is applied to the complete model just ok in this way we can change the appearance of the model in this tutorial we have learned how to model this component next tutorial we will come up with a new component if you like this video please share to your friends for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you for watching my videos thank you